Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah The question was asked Assalamu alaikum akhi There are many brothers I see converting, reverting and coming back to the deen here in Australia They don't know basic fundamentals of what a Muslim should know As they don't see any useful resources Even in our country we have brothers who want to go overseas and study for two years But haven't studied the deen or Arabic in their life. What are obligatory things at, uh, a Muslim should know? And what do you suggest for our brothers in Australia who want to go study the religion in a country like Egypt or Sudan for two years? What are the obligatory things for them to know before they embark on their journey on seeking knowledge? So those are a few questions. But what I would advise in general is the same thing I would advise brothers if they were coming from Japan. And brothers who are coming from Sweden and brothers who are coming from Germany and brothers coming from America uh, is that first and foremost, seek out those people who are local who uh, can teach you the fundamentals. That's uh, number one. And if there aren't, and I know there's students of knowledge in Australia. I, I don't know of any, but, uh, but I'm sure there are. Uh, what I would say is um, that... Uh, also, we've mentioned that there's many ways online that you can study. You know, you can go through the rules. So go through basic the things about the, the pillars of Islam, the pillars of Iman, Ahsan, all this from the Hadith of Jibreel. But listen to the explanations from the students of knowledge and read from the explanations of the ulama that have been translated. There's so much English resources that that's just simply... Uh, it's simply not true if someone wants to uh, study these basic things. There's just a plethora of information that Ahl Sunnah Walillah Alhamd has been busy translating over the years. There's countless stuff that's free online, so many books, it's ridiculous, uh, that you can read, take a book, get together in a study circle, and start reading and going through it. This is uh, very important to increase one's knowledge, and as well, as I mentioned, listen to those durus of the students of knowledge. So many brothers are doing stuff on the YouTube now, which is, you know, all over the world. Uh, There's so many recorded lessons you can do download in MP3 format. There's just, there's just so much. There's no excuse for a person if they're in Alaska, if they're in a small village in France, unless they don't have internet access, but it, it's there, it's it's over, it's all over. Whether they're in Zambia, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's you know access as long as you have the access to the internet. There's so much going on, so that's what I would say. You know, study things in Akida, things as I mentioned already, the pillars of Islam, you know, Usul al Thalatha, Qawaid al Arba. The, the you know uh, the, which is the three fundamentals the four principles the uh, all of these things you can find translated with explanations in uh, online so there's so many resources um, <clears throat> also as far as going away to study for two years uh, you know this is good to do whatever you you're able to do however. As I recall, when I was going, leaving the first time, and I went to a community, Abu Muslim's community in New Jersey at the time, and I remember a brother kind of giving me a tour around the masjid, and he said, there's so many one- and two-year brothers around this masjid who knew a little bit of Arabic. Like, if you go to a place like New Jersey and Philly in America, so many brothers, you know, they because they have a much greater exposure to knowledge and students of knowledge, so you have so many people who know some Arabic. Or who can benefit from the students and, and who can benefit from the scholars even. You know, a lot of people. But it doesn't mean that they're necessarily students of knowledge. Meaning that they got a little taste. But there's only so many people who Allah has favored to go and get four, five, six, ten, fifteen years of their life studying and sitting with ulama and things like this. So not everyone is favored like that. So my advice is to set if you, if you can only do it for six months in one year, you know, at least a year to two years to, to at least get a, some sort of grasp of the Arabic language and maybe go through some books or, uh, you know, improve your Quran or memorize Quran or what have you. That's very important. I would advise to try to lengthen your stay for those who want to study. Uh, those are just some of the pieces of advice. And, uh, you know, we've talked about a lot of these issues many times. So I would advise you. 
to look up some of the things we've said, and there's so much which is much more beneficial, which is from the ulama that's been translated. So much stuff out there uh, that's just online. Uh, you can find from Google. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.